Hi, Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy here again to show you another Illustrator tutorial. So today I just want to show you a quick little trick on how to get gold foil or glitter type. I know that words that are either shiny or sparkly are really popular right now and I've had a few requests to show you guys how to do that so I'm going to do that right now. Um, so there's a couple things that make this really easy and that is having an image of either gold foil or glitter to start off with and then the only thing you have to do is put it behind the word that you want to use select them both so now, right now I have the word shine and the gold foil image that I have on top of one another and then you just go to object clipping mask make or command 7 and then you have your word there really pretty in gold foil and so the same thing goes for the glitter obviously and there you go and you have sparkly type okay but there's a couple things that can complicate this say you wanted to use the gold foil on both the words at the same time right now if I try to do that and select all three and then do a clippy mask by clicking command 7 it only chooses one of the words instead of doing both but I can show you a way around that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select both the words and we're gonna go to type then create outlines so when you do that each one of the words each one of the letters is outlined now with a million different points so the problem that creates is now they're all their own shape and so if I were to try to do it now it wouldn't work very well obviously so instead what we have to do is we're going to go to Pathfinder which if you don't have that you can just go to window then click on Pathfinder but I have it over here in my menu bar and then we're gonna go to merge and we do that any of the words that are overlapping each other have now or any of the letters that have overlapped each other are now combined but as you can tell there's still some places where the letters weren't overlapping and so even if we tried to make the clipping mask now it still wouldn't work this can get really frustrating really quickly but now that we've overlapped the letters by doing merge, the last step we need to do is go to object, compound path, and then make. And what that does, I'm going to show that again. See, before this was all a group, and you can't make clipping masks with more than two things. So you can have an image and something else, but it, ha it can't be a group of things and an image. It has to be one thing and an image. But when we made the compound path, the letters are now permanently, well not technically permanently, but semi-permanently combined with each other to be one layer and now when we select it with the image and press command 7 or create clipping mask, ta-da! It worked! This goes the same way if we wanted to say add a shape or just to review you're going to make the type outlines and then you're going to use the merge tool because some of the letters are overlapping and then you select everything that you want to be the same layer and you're going to go command 8 or object compound path make and then you can take your image put it underneath it select both of them and then do clipping mask make and there you go